Hello, I'm Exams, and welcome to a little tutorial on automating the entire inscriber process. So, that is taking care of all the presses and also the processes. So, let's get straight to this. So, we need to put down four interfaces with four inscribers back to back. Then, we'll put some dense cable to connect all that together. And then, we'll Put down some normal cable there, which is the um, ME covered cable. Uh, where's the import? Boom. We'll put down import buses here. One, two, three, four. And that technically is the first stage done already. So if I get the presses out of here, so one, two, three, whoops, whoops, didn't mean to that. Three, four. Uh, one, two, three. Well, let's just make the first one. Now you have to have one before you can make more, if that makes sense. So we need one of you, one of you, one of you, and one of you. So let's work out which is which. So boom, 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 boom. So that'll make that. Um, boom. That's one, one of each in the ME system, and then I can show you how to make the actual cards. So that'll work like that. And these export buses will take it straight through to here. And boom, so we've got all our circuits there. So now what we need is to add this thing, which is a pattern terminal. So we add that on there. This opens up this little box here. Now crafting is a crafting, we can ignore that. We want it on processing. So we put a blank one of them in there. And then say for instance, right, we want to make a silicone one, which is that and that. We code that, we put that in this one here, which is um, silicone, yes. So in this thing behind, the interface, if we put that in, oops, wrong, wrong slot, wrong slot. It just goes all the way back into ME system. So if we put it in the first slot there, if we go onto this, and I like to keep this on, craft mode it shows there so you can craft more of them so if we do it for all the others um, and scrub I forget which is which so let's just make some more um, which should we put in the inscriber is it diamond nope it is nope yes this is this one so engineering press which will give us two uh, when it pops in yep two so that is that and diamond. So if we again, oops, make uh, so go into this. If we put that there, make sure that is cleared, and then go boom and boom, and we have the engineering one. So we'll go in there. So again, we got that option there. So if we do it for the other two, so well. So and that and do it and that. Let's make these quickly. Close that just in case I accidentally make the same one again. Boom. So we've got that. And then boom and boom. Go and if we put this well I need to figure out which one it is first. Logic, which is logic, yep, which makes you there. So, for stage one, if we come to here and want to craft any of these, we just go, let's say, to spawn next. Um, no CPUs available. So, this takes us to the next stage, which is these three blocks here, which is crafting unit, co processor unit, and more okay, crafting unit. So, we need to add one of these. So, it's a simple structure like that, and as something as you can see, it connects with you build it and that will allow us to do this so if I click on that make one of them boom that's the start that now I don't know much about this block I know you can make multiple of them so say that I did that there I can start making say that if we go next I can make it on CPU 1 or CPU 2 so there's two of them there so we can do that so boom that's stage one Right, now you want, might want the actual processes themselves, which are a little bit more complicated because they require 
the circuit to silicon circuits, which you can't easily do in this type of setup. So for that, we'll build this. Um, go, I mean, to face. In fact, I want this this way. So I, yes, that's all I wanted. I basically do not want this dense cable touching the inscriber. That's the whole point. So if I put some export buses on the bottom and the side and connect them with its own cable. Oops. These export buses perform at a specific task, which is this will constantly fill it with silicone and this will constantly fill it with redstone, which is the basic part of a processor. So if you grab one redstone and one of the silicone, in fact, while we're here, why don't we make some more silicone? Let's say five. Boom, boom. So if we put silicone in the bottom, so we need plenty of that, and we put the redstone there, and connect that up to that. That lowers to keep that filled. So as you can see, it's put a redstone in there, and it's put a piece of silicone in there. And to get stuff out of it, it is simply an input bus on the front with a separate circuit all the way down to here. And there we pretty much have it. We just need to sort out the template for this. So to do that, it is simply, yes. So we'll have one of, in fact, let's just empty this inventory. It's getting a bit untidy. I see we can do three of them. So it is simply one, two, and three. And for this, you don't need to actually have the design. Now we just need to make some initially because we do need some. And I might well craft one more of them because I'm going to need that. So if you put these in this to start with, it'll just make it because we need one to make the template. So if we do this quickly, boom, so we've got him. That will automatically fill again. So I just have to put that in. There is acceleration cards you can put in a slot as well, but that's personal preference for an upgrade for future. So we'll do this again. Boom, and then we can start working on the cir circuit template, which is boom, boom, and boom. And for that, you simply go into here, clear that, put in a blank pattern, and it's simply, oh yes, I need one of each of these. Boom, boom, and boom. Because I don't need the silicone, I don't need anything else. All I simply need is the end product, and what I need to make it encoded. So again, the end product and what I need to make it and encode it. And one last time, the what I need to make it and the end product. And there we go, so that's all three of them. If I put that in there, boom, boom, boom. So basically they work. I don't need the full design for them because the rest of the design is taken care of by the redstone and the printed silicon. So if I go into here now, I can make everything I ever need. So let's make another one of that. Boom, and I've got two processors so I can make another one of these. Boom, and then this will start filling up. And also on the ME interface, if you have none, it shows it here. So let's say I don't have any of them, let's make one of them. And as soon as it's made one, it's a bit slow because there's no acceleration cards, but that will turn to a one, hopefully. There we go, see? So I wanna craft one of these. It's got all the resources, so again, that will turn to a one. And we'll do one for the final one. This is where acceleration cards are quite important because they do speed it up. But maybe I'm missing something. Yes, I seem to be missing something and it's called a thing called power. <laughs> Oops. Right, let's do this. Um, let's just connect this up to the power somehow. So yes, this final inscriber does need its own power source to work. Unlike these, these seem to get the power from both sides. 
whereas this doesn't seem to get any power. I don't know why that's the case. Or maybe, maybe, I'd say. Uh, no, I'm showing power, so. In my setup, this works, but maybe it's not showing anything here. Let's just try and mix them, because it says there's no power to any of them, which is confusing me. None of these have any processes outstanding. Nope. So let's just craft one of them. Maybe they don't need power to run. There we go, it's running, so it's obviously getting power. So this is just the one that complains, because it's making the advanced process. So yes, in a nutshell, 10 minute video, that is all you need to make or automate the entire inscribe process. So if you like the video, please leave a like. If there's anything confusing about this, please ask. Um, you don't need to have two of these. It'll work perfectly fine with one. It's just I prefer to have two. One for constantly making silicone with, because you'll find once you start making 64K drive and such, silicone tends to be a problem. But yes, I hope you like this video. Any questions, leave it in the comments below and thank you very much.